Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Prairie Meadows here on Saturday. It's the 6th of July, 2024. Going to look at the stakes races on the program from Prairie, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Remember to go check out my Belmont Derby preview and my Eclipse preview from Sandown. But let's look at the stakes action races 6 through 9. Some very good races, especially that Cornhusker handicap at the end. But let's look at the sixth race, which is the Prairie Gold Juvenile. It's going for a purse of $100,000. Race for two-year-olds here. Six horses are contesting 1,100 meters or five and a half furlongs on the main track. Going to take the four-horse complex music as a top selection. Four, five, three, one in the Superfecta for me. Four, five, three, one Super. Top selection of four-horse complex music. This two-year-old cult by complexity here. Steve Asimson trains. Christian Torres gets them out. They dropped the horse down in class last time out, which, you know, wasn't a problem. It's early on two-year-old season, so it's not like it was a massive cop drop in class, but from a main special to a main claiming 100000 at Churchill. Five eights on the 21st of June was a success for this horse. He broke on top, which was pretty good for him. Had a bit of a wide trip, but on the front and all throughout, went in by three quarters length. That was a very good return or first main victory. Refreshing here. Not the world's toughest race, could be fairly paced. I think he could get a trip to win. Um, you know, he's had a workout since the last race. Half uh, three eight mile drill on uh, Monday yesterday. Uh, on Monday at uh, Ellis and 39 and one, the tenth best workout 13. So I think he's raring to go. He ran prior to that on debut on the uh, first May Churchill Derby week four and a half in the main special weight. He finished seven by 12 lengths. He basically lost a little chance is getting out of the gate because he got bumped straight out of it had a very wide trip going to that first turn was wide throughout and he yielded late he just couldn't keep up since the last race you know great work out of Ellis then they took him the turf way after that on the Tapita and he was training quite nicely on it coming here Three to one. I'll give him a shot. I think the five horse White Sands for Wesley Ward and Joe Bravo could win also. It was a going away victory at Belterra, uh, going five and a half on the 25th of May. I can't believe he's 30 cents a dollar. It should have been 10 cents a dollar. Uh, but he won by on the front end all throughout. A little bit of a slow time, but it's still a very good run. Since the last race, he's training quite nicely at Keelan. Refreshing here at four to one. I'll give this horse shot on the uh, pick three ticket. But to recap my selection for the six now from Prairie, it is the Prairie Gold Juvenile. I'm going to take the four horse complex music. Give kudos to the five horse White Sands. Four, five, three, one super. Four or five in the multi race. Now the seventh race from Prairie. It is the Iowa Oaks. It's going for a purse of two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Race for three-year-old fillies. Field six horses going seventeen hundred meters or a mile sixteenth on the main track. Gonna go to the rail horse Shimmering Allure as a top selection. One two four three for me in the Superfecta. One two four three Super top selection. One horse Shimmering Shimmering Allure. This three-year-old filly by enticed here. Kenneth McPeak trains Jun- Joel Rosario. Joel Rosario. Ju- <laughs> Julian Leper. Peru gets him out. I can't speak. It's been a very long day. The horse's most recent outing came locally here at Prairie, one mile eighth of June in the Panther Sticks, and he got a good trip that day. He won by one three quarter lengths on the. F- from a stalking trip, he got to the front end, and he got the job done. Really didn't have to be used a lot that day. 82 buyer. That was a good race. He ran horribly, though, off the quick turnaround. At um at Laurel before that a mile sixteenth in the Weber City uh distaff or Weber City mistakes he finished fifth by um, uh, sixty lengths that day and you know he basically was with them early on but then walked on the line as a sixty cents of the dollar favor off the quick turn run. It just wasn't a recipe for success that day. I think the horse needed, uh, you know, a break after the Ashland, where she ran a key in a mile 16th, 5th of April, where she finished 6 by 7 three quarter lengths, and out, get out of the gate so clearly it was wide, and she just wasn't keeping up there. And then the sand at Aqueduct in the Mud going a mile and 8th on the 13th of January, finishing 3rd by 10 lengths. She was a little bit wide and just didn't show up that day. And then, and then in the Demoiselle, um, she finished 2nd by 2 three quarter lengths, man, life talking, getting a little bit wide, but she was, you know, getting down the race course well, but the track was a conveyor belt to speed. She won the tempted prior to that at Aqueduct quite, quite nice by three lengths, uh, closing up from nowhere. She has some fairly pace if she wants to use it. She's a workhorse. She's making her 12th start here today. Training well since the last race at Churchill. Give her a shot on the ticket. I think the two horse Del Valita for Steve Aftison and, and uh, Christian Torres could win also. Was a winner in, at Lone Star going a mile on the 26th of May in an optional 50 claimer. Winning by three and a quarter length. She flew home clear. Prior to that, Sunland over the in the island fashion stakes. She finished second by five and a quarter lengths, where she was just wide and just never getting into it. But broken main at Sam Houston prior to that quite nicely. Coming here up in class, she has some fairly pace. I'll give her a shot on the ticket. But to recount my selection of the seven from Prairie now, it's the Iowa Oaks. Going to take the two horse Shimmering Allure. Give kudos to the two horse Devoletta. Um, one, two, four, three, super. One, two in the multi-race. The 
eighth race now from Prairie. It is the Iowa Derby. It's going for a purse of $250,000. Race for three-year-olds here. Field of 11 horses going 1,700 meters or mile 16th here in the Iowa Derby. Going to go take the number eight horse, Dimatic, as a top selection. 8974 for me in the Superfecta. 8974 Super. Top selection, eight horse, Dimatic. This uh, three-year-old Philly by a three-year-old Colt by Gunrunner here. Steve Aspen trains Christian Torres. Gets the mounts. The horse's most recent out came at Lone Star in the Texas Derby, a mile 16, 27th of May, and the horse went a second by length that day. If he would have broke better, he could have possibly won. He got bumped going out of the gate. He was a little bit wide. He had the lead, and then he just kind of yielded late. I think he just got that trouble trip. Hopefully, with a better trip from the outside here today, should see a strong pace to close up in two. I think he could get the, the job done here today. He ran prior to that optional 100 at Oakland, a mile 16th on the saw 5th of May. He won by one and a half lengths that day, and he had a dream tracking trip all the way around the race course. He was a little bit wide late, but he got the job done. A very good strong run from there. And then 20th of April, alone at Oakland, a mile 16th and optional 100. He's stepping down in class from the Arkansas Derby, which was his previous race. He finished fourth by one three quarter lengths. Had to be, you know, steady you know, quite a few times around the far turn. Three eighths pole, quarter pole, which cost him. He just couldn't keep the forward momentum going, but he ran a good race. Good If you bet him next start out after that, that, that was a major trip um, that he had there, which uh, he just couldn't overcome, but uh, he really overcome the next race. Um, you know, throughout that uh, those two races before that, the Arkansas Derby Rebel, those were tough races. Not nearly as tough as the horses he's facing today training at well at Churchill since the last race I think a 520 he's a live winner I think the nine horse just a touch for Florent Giroux and Brad Cox who went also uh, Florent's riding at uh, if I'm not mistaken I started looking at the uh, the Indianapolis the uh, horseshoe Indy, Indy Derby um, and if I'm not mistaken I think uh, Florent's riding there also on Saturday so he's going to be uh, taking the uh, jet from uh, Indiana to uh, Iowa but um, just a touch he, he ran in the uh, Derby most recently at Churchill over the mile and eighth where he over the mile and a quarter where he didn't do a lot of running he finished 20th by 54 lengths, and he just had nothing. His races before that weren't bad at all. He, he kind of yielded in the bluegrass where Sierra Leone cl caught him in the lane, but he, he ran his heart out for the place there. And then the Gotham, he finished second by two lengths. He had a wide trip, but again, he got around the race course well. His win on debut on the main specialty at Churchill uh, at Fairgrounds on the slop wasn't bad at all. He's training well. Back to this trip. I'm going to give him a shot at 9-5. to five. And even the 7-horse here next level for Jareth Loveberry and Keith DeSormo, I thought he got a decent third behind Society Men and the uh, Matt Wynn. And, you know, he, if you look at some of the races he's been facing, his last two weren't bad at all. Uh, you know, Louisiana Derby had a bit of a trouble trip. But if you go back to some of his two-year-old races, he ran decent numbers. 7-2. to two. Give him a shot here in the pick four. But to recount my selection for the eighth now from Perry, it is the Iowa Derby. Going to take the eight-horse Dimetic. Give kudos to the nine-horse Just a Touch and the seven-horse next level. Uh, eight, nine, seven, four, super. Eight, nine, seven in the pick four. Let's get to the featured ninth race from Prairie Meadows. Always a good race here. The ninth race, it's the Prairie Meadows Corn Husker Handicap. It's a grade three event going for a $300,000 purse. Race for three year olds and upwards. We have a field here of 11 horses going 1,800 meters or a mile and eighth here on the main track. I'm going to go with the six horse here, Hit Show. Six, eleven, five, four for me in the Superfecta. 61154 super top selection six horse hit show this um this where are we this uh for a cult by candy right here brad cox trains florent Giroux gets the mount the horse's most recent appearance came in an off to 100 at church on the 8th 11th of may first start in of the season it was a success he won by two and a quarter likes he stalked all the way around the race course he quickened up and he ran a good race off the bench to get the job the 95 buyer not bad at all Coming here today, it's not the world's toughest race. Second time, all the horses. I'm going to give him a shot that he could jump up to run a good race here today. He had a very wide trip before that in, as a 90 cents a dollar favorite in the Oklahoma Derby at Remington. A mile on the 8th, 24th of September. He finished six by six and a half lengths that day, and he was wide and just had nothing. I thought you just saw him at the end of a very tough campaign there. Prior to that, the Jim Dandy at Saratoga on the soft going mile eighth. He finished fifth by nine and a quarter lengths. Forte won in a gritty performance. Saudi Cup won next start out. Angel of Empire, decent horse. This horse hit the gate going out of it. was wide, and he just didn't show up. The other four horses he faced showed up, but this horse didn't. And then the uh, Belmont, he finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths that day. And he, he didn't weaken out of it, but he just plodded along. He ran an okay race. His derby last year wasn't bad at all. And, you know, his wooden memorial drawn in the parking lot at JFK on uh, Cross Bay Boulevard over there. Um, you know, he, he he ran his heart out from where he was drawn. He nearly caught Lord Miles. He had a better trip from the inside. But this horse 
from like I said, where he was drawn in uh, he was drawn over on uh, on Cross Bay Boulevard, but still ran a terrific race. His race before then the Withers wasn't bad at all. He's training well at three to one. I'm gonna give him a shot on the ticket. He could definitely win. I think the eleven horse here speed bias for Ron Moquette and Rafael Bayerano could win also. You know, prior to you know, most recently he ran in, uh, off the bench in a mile on the eighth optional eighty at uh, Churchill where he won by a neck that day. He had to grind it out to the wire if not the best beginnings, but he got the job done. You know, prior to that they ran him the mile and a half temperance hill we finished third by four and three quarter lengths where he just wasn't staying the trip that day he again he didn't stay in the in the uh in the razor back behind octane and then his race prior to that oakland he just didn't really show up maybe he doesn't like that oakland track this past season where they just had rain every other day it seemed um but if you look at some of his races last summer he wasn't running bad at all you know placed in last year's pimlico special then he ran in the uh and the Stephen foster at ellis where he just wasn't keeping up but it, but his saratoga races last summer weren't bad at all in the feet Freshman here, second off the bench at 15 1, getting a little bit of a low weight in the handicap. I'll give him a shot on the ticket. I think he has some ability here. And even the five horse here, Red Route 1, if there's a closer that's going to be winning, it's going to be him. I wonder if they're going to have that uh, three horse unload be kind of um, a, a, a rabbit for this one because he needs a pace to close up into. But, um, you know, he had a decent third in the Oakland handicap where he had to get a little bit ground, but he, he, he ran his heart out with 100 fire. When the New Orleans Classic at the fairgrounds quite nicely by two lengths, you know, he, he like I said, he might need some help to get a pace meltdown on the front end. Like I said, I wonder if they're going to use that three horses of rabbit but he has ability to win i would use him the pick four also but it's a very good feature here i think you go a few ways with this one but to recap my selection for the ninth from prayer here on the saturday evening it is the cornhusker handicap going to take the six horse hit show as a top selection we'll give kudos to the 11 horse speed bias and the five horse red route one six eleven five four super six eleven five in the multi-race that being said good luck to all and please follow me on twitter at horse racing kit five good luck everybody